Welcome to our Getting Started with CrowdSec series where I'll be walking you through exactly how to get started with CrowdSec and how to make the most of some of its features and capabilities to protect and defend your online applications and services from malicious actors and cyber attacks. So for the purpose of this first video, I've already gone ahead and set up a virtual Ubuntu machine and I have a basic Apache web server running on it. So over the course of the next five minutes, I'll be walking you through how to deploy CrowdSec, how to ensure CrowdSec is properly configured to not only detect malicious activity, but block it as well. And finally, how to enroll your CrowdSec deployment into the CrowdSec console and exactly what that means. So the first thing that you're going to need to do to get started with CrowdSec is head to the CrowdSec console and sign up for a free account. So if you're following along, you will find the link to the console sign up page in the description box just below the video. So what I'm going to do, I am going to log in to my existing account. And you will see that once I'm logged in, I'm prompted to install the CrowdSec security engine. So the security engine is our open source software component responsible for detecting malicious activity on your applications and your systems and networks. So because I'm deploying CrowdSec to my Ubuntu machine today, I'll be following the installation guide for Linux. But if you're not installing on a Linux based system, you will just need to select the option most relevant to your deployment. So once I click into Linux, I'm then redirected to the CrowdSec documentation guide for installing CrowdSec onto Linux based systems. You will see that the first step here is to install the CrowdSec package cloud repositories. So all I need to do is copy that command, paste it into my terminal, and I have already SSH to my Ubuntu machine in my terminal. So that is going to run the script to download the CrowdSec repositories for me. We then need to head to step number two, which will actually install the security engine. So again, super straightforward, copy the install command here and paste it into your terminal. So what CrowdSec is doing here, CrowdSec is running through the installation script and it will be taking a look at what services I have running on my Ubuntu machine. So it will pick up the fact that I have an Apache web server installed and it will download and install some protection for my Apache web server. So there you have it. In around two minutes, the CrowdSec security engine is now deployed to my Ubuntu machine that is running my Apache web server. So at this stage, CrowdSec will straight away get to work detecting any malicious activity across my machine and the systems that I have running on it. And it will alert me to any suspicious activity. The key thing here is if I want CrowdSec to not only detect attacks, but also block them, I need to install a remediation component, which is this third step here. So remediation components are software packages that are responsible for remediating any threats that have been detected by my security engine. So these remediation components will use automated responses to either ban the corresponding IP address from my network, or it will present the user with a capture. So since I'm deploying CrowdSec onto an Ubuntu machine today, I'm going to be installing the IP tables firewall remediation component. So again, very straightforward. I just need to copy this command and paste it into my terminal. And as I say, this is going to install the IP tables remediation component for me. So once that has completed its installation, I now have a CrowdSec security engine deployed, as well as a remediation component installed. So that means CrowdSec is now properly configured to one, detect 
any suspicious behavior on my system and to block the malicious actor from actually gaining access to my system. So the final step in configuring my CrowdSec deployment is to head back to the CrowdSec console and enroll my security engine into the console. So what this does, it means I will then gain a centralized and real-time view into all of the threats that have been detected across all of my online services that are protected by CrowdSec. So to enroll my security engine, all I need to do is copy this command here, which contains my enrollment key. And again, just paste that into the terminal. So you'll notice here that I am prompted to refresh my console UI. And this is going to present me an option to accept that enrollment. So once I click accept, you will see that I now have my security engine enrolled into the console. So after enrolling your security engine, you will need to restart CrowdSec. And that is just to make sure it is properly connected to the console so that you can see all of your real time alerts. So to do that, system CTL restart crowd sec. So now if I head back to the console and I click into scenarios, this will show me all of the protection I currently have. So all of the attacks and vulnerabilities that CrowdSec is defending my system against. And you will also see my remediation component here, sometimes referred to as bouncers. I have the firewall bouncer installed. So if I head back to my security engines tab, you will see that I don't currently have any alerts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video here and come back in a couple of hours and we will review what sort of attack attempts that my CrowdSec deployment has identified and blocked. So it's been around 24 hours since I paused the video and I've just logged back into my console account. And I can see that during that period, CrowdSec has already generated seven alerts. So just to put that into a bit of context for you, as you know, during this video, I have deployed CrowdSec to my virtual Ubuntu machine that has been running an Apache web server. So both the machine and the Apache web server are just less than 24 hours old. I've not told anyone about them. I haven't posted about them publicly. No one knows about them. And during that period, I've already seen seven different intrusion attempts to my system. So it really hammers home the importance of securing your online services, even if you think no one knows about them. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here, but what I will do in the next video is I will give you a tour of the alerts tab. So I will walk you through all of these visualization charts as well as the context around different attacks that you will see populate in your console interface. So thank you for watching this video. If there are any parts of CrowdSec or the installation process you'd like a bit more clarity on, I've linked a few resources in the video description box, but you're free to ask any questions in the comments, or you can join our Discord server where one of the CrowdSec team and myself will be happy to answer them for you.